You know, one of the interesting things that I saw as an athlete with my teammates, some would come back very well from their ACL. Others really struggled to get motion and, and do things at an athletic level. I've seen hundreds, you know, whether it's teammates or uh, competitors. I myself went through it, uh, probably cut my time short in the National Football League. Um, it was a grueling process, took me two surgeries to come back for it. And, uh, you know, my knee's still not right. Scars used to be like so big and that they were out for a whole, like, that's the end of their career. It's my senior year playing basketball and it's very important that I am on the court this year. So we asked our trainer who was like the best out here because I'm not about to have anybody work on my knee. And they brought us, uh, Ch uh, Dr. Chad Lavender. And after that, it was just like we clicked at the first moment, so. With research and medicine, we ask questions. And we ask, why did this patient have a re-rupture? Why did this patient have an, a, a re-injury? Or why did the graft not heal? Out of those questions led us to start looking at stem cells, autograft bone, and also adding internal brace into the knee to improve the stability. Because the goal is, if we can increase and enhance your recovery, especially early on, then obviously your return to play would be more successful. I'm a track and field athlete, and about seven weeks I started getting back to some kind of normal activities. I started jogging, and jogging is pretty fast paced, and probably more than jogging. This is a standard model of an ACL reconstruction with the all inside technique similar to what we're performing here at Marshall Health. You'll see the ACL graft. You can also see and make out a little brace that's the internal brace. That's the suture that we talk about that provides the earlier stability uh, to the knee. In addition to that, you'll see that these tunnels are actually sockets. Okay, they're not complete tunnels. Because they're just sockets, that's what allows us to put our our bone graft stem cell composite graft, we inject it into those sockets before we place our graft. And so those are the two main aspects of the surgery. You'll see down here that the internal brace actually comes out of the button and is inserted into a biocomposite screw that's placed into the tibia. Compared to people that I've seen that have a normal ACL reconstruction surgery, I have noticed some significant differences. Um, notably, my healing rate is very much accelerated. I was able to, for example, go to work four days post-op, or normally I see friends that have had a normal ACL reconstruction or bedridden for weeks, even sometimes months. To see how fast these guys are coming back uh, is truly amazing. The initial pain after the surgery, after that went away, I've not had much pain at all. Yeah, I have a couple buddies that play on our um, football team and they had ACL tears and they didn't get back to about six to eight months and they were just surprised of how I was already moving, already running, already jumping up and down. I'm happy to be nine weeks out and already jumping and running around. And so what we're trying to do is enhance the healing, increase the early stability so that the patients have better, more complete healing of their tunnels, of the ACL graft, and also hopefully provide a stronger graph long term so that the return to sport is, is improved. Yeah, I would suggest this technique to, you know, to all levels of athletes, you know, elite, elite athletes across the country. This, this technique that Dr. Labner is coming out with is, is unbelievable.